Well, we're here visiting the Chicago market. We like to say hello to the customers. We like to say hello to our associates. Let's see what the stores are looking like. We're starting to get into the holiday season, and I love to get out into the stores and really get a sense of what's going on in the organization. The only reason somebody goes to a Saks or any of our competitors is either product or service and having a unique product offering and elevating the service level is what we're all about and we have a Fifth Avenue Club which is a very high level of service. We spend a lot of our time training people, helping them understand how they can provide the best kind of service to their customers. We've been having a great response to Fashion Fix, and it's in its early stages at this point. We think it has great growth potential. What we're finding is that our customer is becoming more and more multi-channel. They want to buy product anywhere, anytime that they want. Fashion Fix is one piece of that, but the regular Saks.com business grew about 36% in the first half of the year. We're finding a huge amount of interaction between these businesses. Now the luxury sector has performed exceptionally well. We took a hard hit during the recession. And it's a little bit like a V. It took a steep dive and now it's had a very good recovery. The high-end customer has held up well. I think that the sweet spot for that customer is they're willing to spend, they're willing to participate in the market, but value is an important word to them. Value is not just price, it's quality, it's workmanship. And Saks is all about uh, luxury at varying price points. During the recession, we learned a lot about the consumer. The consumer loves their brands, and what they were doing was they were trading down in the price points, but they weren't trading down brands. And what's happened now is they still love their brands. In fact, they value their brands even more than they did pre-recession, but what they're doing is moving back towards the more special pieces, the exotic skin, the unique items, and those are at the higher price points. So over the last year, you've seen a big gravitation towards some of those higher price points. It's understanding the local market, the local consumer. You go to a Highland Park that we're standing in right now, and I look at how we've customized to the casual, professional lifestyle of this customer. You can't, in a store like this, for example, be everything to everybody because it's not a big enough store. You can certainly do that in a New York City store, which is so big. But here, it's much more about edited assortments. And what we've done, I think, is understand our customers better and really go back to that local marketing, them providing that unique, customized service experience and delivering on a customer's expectations. You know, I don't think there is one Saks woman. We like to talk about helping people look and feel their best. I've been in the business for a long time, and I may feel very comfortable sitting and doing an interview with you, but I may not be as comfortable picking out the clothes. And I think that part of what Saks does is provide that professional, that expertise, to really understand and take the time to understand who you are. Because what we're trying to do is say, we want to understand you as an individual and fit into your lifestyle. And I think that's what really the quintessential Saks experience, not so much the Saks woman, but the Saks experience is about really tailoring it to saying, who are you? And we can then fit the needs that you have. <laughs>